Hi, I'm Seth and welcome to Beginners PHP. PHP is the most popular server-side programming language in the world. Over 80% of web apps today run PHP. Don't worry about server-side programming languages. We're going to get into these details later on. What I want to do now is jump right into PHP code. So what we have here is a basic PHP page. This is the PHP code in a code editor. I'm using Sublime Text on Windows. And here's the browser, Google Chrome, displaying the results of the page. Now, if you look at this page, it looks like HTML to me, and it is HTML. You see, PHP pages are really just HTML pages with PHP code inserted, although we have not put any PHP code in here yet. We will in a second. And there's one other thing about a PHP page that makes it different from an HTML page. And that is the PHP page has the PHP extension in the name. So this page is called first-script.php. That makes it a PHP page. If this was a plain HTML page, it would be first-script.html. Again, later on in the course, I'm going to explain to you how the .php transforms this page into a PHP page. Anyway, all you need to know now is this is a PHP page and it's ready to accept PHP code. So let's add our very first bit of PHP code. PHP, like HTML, has an opening and it has a closing PHP tag. This is the opening PHP tag. This is the closing PHP tag. Just like in HTML, you have an opening tag and you have the closing tag, except instead of using the uh, forward leaning slash in PHP, you use the question mark to close the tag. Anything in between these two tags will be the PHP code that, we, uh, that we're gonna write. So let's write some very simple PHP code. Pretty simple stuff. Print, this is some PHP code. So let's refresh our web page. And there it is, print some PHP code. Let's look at something really interesting. Let's look at the page source. And if you notice, here's the text. You notice in our source code, the PHP code does not appear in the web page source code. That's very interesting. You see there's no opening PHP tag, no closing PHP tag, there's no print command. Just the result of the PHP code is left in our HTML page. And we're going to learn why this is as we continue through the course.